Now, Access provides 10 different data types that can be assigned to a field. Each data type is used to store a different type of value, such as text, numbers, and dates and times. The yes-no data type is unique in that, it ha in that it is assigned to a field that will hold only one of two values. These values are usually yes or no, true or false, or on or off. Let's create a yes-no field that determines if an instructor works full-time or part-time. We'll return to the instructors table in design view. In the field name columns, we'll click in the empty row below the phone, which is down here, and we'll type full-time with a hyphen and we'll press tab. Now it's telling us that the data type is text. We're going to change that data type to yes, no. And we'll press tab again. Now the property is available for yes, no field data type display, which are down here, yes, no. We'll click on the default value and we'll replace the zero with yes. Default values are the values that display in a new record before the data is entered. The default value can be changed to a different value during the date entry. We'll now save the table and switch to design view. The yes no field displays as a checkbox and we need to scroll over to the right a little bit and we can see full time, yes no field and the checkbox. And in the row for the next record it is checked by default because we told it was the default was yes. Using the data sheet, we will now add the following instructors. And I've got four more to do. So we'll tab up here. And the second instructor is Robert Patterson. He's in Los Angeles. His room is 318, or the office is 318, and the number is 213. So notice that we don't need to do anything other than press the tab key because the default is yes, or the default is full time. The next instructor. Joe Collins. He's in San Diego. And uh, his office is 105. And we'll put his phone number in. And he is part time. Now, we can either click in this box, and you can see the check mark is removed. Let's put it back. Or you can use the keyboard and press the space bar, as I just did, and it's removed. So we'll keep it removed because he is part-time. Next person, Carl Ewing. San Diego. And Carl is full time, so we can just tab and accept the default. One more instructor, Barbara. Howard, Los Angeles, and the number up there is 213, and not full time. So we've completed 
a total of five instructors. And now we'll look at creating and populating an attachment field. 